it's time for the word and i got a word for you this morning and uh the, the word come to us this morning from philippians 2 and verse 22 philippians 2 and verse 22 Philippians 2 and verse 22 says this, but you know his proven character that as a son with his father, he served with me in the gospel. He served with me in the gospel. Philippians 2 and verse 22, the NIV said Timothy had proved himself. All right, he had proved himself. That very first line is the line that we want to focus on, but you know his proven character. Timothy proved himself. Let's hear what God is saying to us this morning. Amen. Um, God will be faithful to you. <clears throat> Excuse me, my brothers and sisters. God will be faithful to you, comes what may. All right, come what may. Human speaking, who else can you count on? Who else can you count on? So this morning, I want to talk to you about who can you count on? Who can you count on? Paul writes, everyone looks out for their own interest, not those of Jesus Christ. But you know that Timothy has proven himself because as a son with his father, he has served with me in the work of the gospel. Philippians 2, 21 and verse 22. So Paul knew he could count on Timothy. Paul knew that he could count on Timothy. There's some people that I work with, I know I can count on them. I can count on the prayer team to be praying when I ask them to pray about a matter. I can count on Hillary to make sure that someone is praying about something, whatever it is that we request. Who can you count on? Who can you count on? Before you answer that, my brothers and sisters, I got four questions that I want you to consider. I want you to consider these four questions. And that's how I'm gonna end this morning's um, program today, by leaving these questions in your mind with, Chris, with, with a scripture verse that will help you to think through these, um, the, the answers to these questions. Who can you count on? Amen. So consider this. One, when something goes wrong, do you have at least one friend? One friend you can easily talk to about it. Is it not good for you to store things on your own? But do you have that one friend that you can easily talk to about it? The scripture recommends this. It says in Proverbs 17 and verse 17, a friend loves at all times and the brother is born for a time of adverse uh, adversity amen there is no way to put a price on such a relationship is there is there so my brothers and sisters when something goes wrong do you have at least one friend you can easily talk to about it we need a friend when we're going through our tough times. We need a friend when we're going through a rough and trialing times. Amen. The second question I want us to consider today, who is your life? Who is your life um, could accurately name your greatest fears and temptation? Who in your life, sorry, who in your life could accurately name your greatest fears and temptation? Now listen, Ecclesiastes 4 and verse 9 and 10 is a scripture reference for this one. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other. Hallelujah. Let me, let me stop this thing. Yes, yes. They, they can help each other succeed. Amen. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real, real trouble. This is the Bible telling us this. That person is in real trouble. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back 
and conquer. Three are even better. The Bible said it. Three are even better. For a triple braided cord is not easily broken, my brothers and sisters. A triple braided cord is not easily broken. So who, who is that, that person? Who is in your life? Who in your life could accurately name your greatest fears and your temptations? And the third thing, quick question I want us to consider this morning before we answer that question that um, who can you count on? Do you have one or more friends with whom you meet regularly? You know, you talk on the phone regularly or, or you meet up regularly to, to, to just talk. To just have, 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 have good conversations. Malachi 3 and verse 16. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another. And the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him. Malachi 3 and verse 16. Do you have one or two friends with whom you meet regularly? Who can document document you and your life and your life story who can you count on the fourth thing that today i want us to consider the fourth question i want us to consider this morning is this do you have a friend and you notice where all all of these are, are, are referring to a friend because we all need a friend. That's the bottom line. We all need to have a friend in our corner. We all need to have somebody who can stand with us through life. No man is an island and no man stands alone. I never forget that from the day I learned it as a, as a kid. Do you have a friend you know well enough to trust their confidentiality? Do you have a trustworthy friend? That's what the question really is. Do you have someone you can trust? And Proverbs 11 and verse 13 says this. A gossip betrays a confidence. But a trustworthy person keeps a secret. Who do you have in your corner? Who is standing with you in prayer? Who is standing with you? in conversation who's standing with you who can you count on my brothers and sisters who can you count on i know it is rough and it is tough to open up yourself to people a lot of us go through that and a lot of us say that I don't open up to people like that, and, and I, but you need a friend. You can't just live your life day by day by day with nobody to talk to, nobody to communicate with, nobody to reason out stuff with. We all need a friend. Timothy has proven himself. So Paul didn't have to worry. He had a friend he could talk to. Paul had a friend, Timothy had a friend. They could reason, they could, 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 could talk. God will be faithful to you, come what may. But who else? Humanly speaking, humanly speaking, who else can you count on? My brothers and sisters, I pray that this word today bless your heart and you will consider these questions these four questions before you answer the question consider these four things when something goes wrong do you have at least one friend you can easily talk to about it or who in your life could accurately name your greatest fears and temptations do you have one or more friends with whom you meet regularly and our fourth question to consider today do you have a friend you know well enough to trust their confidentiality? To trust that they'll be trustworthy and keep a secret? Because Proverbs 11 reminds us, a gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. 
God bless you this morning. And this is a word with Dr. D. Roy. Who can you count on? I pray that you find someone you could trust, someone you can count on today, where you can speak to them about just about anything, anything. God bless you. everyone for listening to GL365 Radio and Web TV. Please follow us on all social media platforms at MyGL365 Radio. Check out our content on our website and enjoy the blessings of the Lord.